guys, guys, I'd like to apologize for certain things that I said about Blue Lock. I think that I'm being very disrespectful to Blue Lock. Because in the most recent video, I said Blue Lock Season 2 is a manga reaction. And there was a comment that said, don't disrespect the manga. And I thought to myself, you know what? You're right. I really am being disrespectful to the manga because this fucking anime episode, you can't call that shit a fucking even color in manga, bro. It's actually disrespectful to call Blue Lock a manga reaction because how much inferior of an experience Blue Lock the anime is. And we got this comment right here. And no, this is not from my community. My community... I've pretty much been so hostile and whipped my monkey so hard that they've been corrected. They don't really say stuff like that. And I don't want you to try to figure out who this anime reaction channel is based on this emoji. I'm not here to say this person good, this person bad. I'm just here to talk about the idea of comments like this, which is something that I often see quite a lot. Not just in anime, but different examples of like, let's say a new Nintendo drama happens. Nintendo's going out to copyright strike. Nintendo does some shady shit. Uh, it's very anti-consumer. Then you have eight-year-olds saying, no, leave Nintendo alone. So let's read the comment. People need to stop complaining about the animation. Honestly, the still frames are the best part of Blue Lock. <sighs> Do you actually believe this? The still frames are the best part of Blue Lock? There's no way you genuinely feel this way, right? Like, that's a crazy thing to say in an anime, a sports anime, just so rooted in the actual fucking sport. Everyone running, the passes, the kicks, the amazing goals, right? Like, like <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean the still frames are the best part of Blue Log? Other than the development, and some of them are meant to be homages or WTV to really well-drawn panels. Listen, sure. There can be homages, there can be references, right? Maybe there's an iconic panel. For example, right? This thumbnail. I mean, even in this video, there's iconic panels. And 100%, these panels look good. And here's the most frustrating thing about Blue Lock, is that if you look on a frame-by-frame -frame basis, the art is stunning. The color pops. But that's the thing. <laughs> Once it starts, it doesn't move. That's what the complaints are. And if you think that every single moment, you're really going to say like an homage happens once a while. As a reference to a key manga frame, do you want to really have significant impact frames for? But do you really think that everything here is an homage or are you coping and justifying and playing defense? Why is your first inclination to play defense for the studios rather than demand better products for a better experience for yourself. Why can't people just appreciate the hype instead? I think it looks great. How about you? Here's the thing. Why can't people just appreciate the hype instead? If you're fine with being served dog shit, you're going to be given dog shit. Why is the first intuitive instinct when people are crying out of frustration because they love Blue Lock, but they see the horrible adaptation because the company adapting this is min-maxing their budget to make sure that you, it's, it's not a labor of passion. It's a literal paycheck. It's literally people clocking in. There's no love poured into it. And you're then going to go and defend corporate greed, which is the result of these shitty animes that we see. And you're going to say, why can't people just appreciate the hype instead? It's because people like this are children or man children that don't understand how how society functions and i'm sorry it might sound really cringe of me to say like you don't know about society but i truly believe that there's a lot of naive and ignorant children that have no clue how businesses kind of operate they have no idea that blue lock has been given a budget that's just enough to make it seem good but it's a fucking mid adaptation and the more People like this goes out to defend and justify giving positive signals for these fucking studios that's just basically just working with the skeleton true crew to give you just a shitty experience. The more they're going to be like, you know what? Maybe we really can get away with it. I bet some of these people, the, the, the anime studio, the producers, I bet they see kids typing this shit and they're like, damn, these monkeys really have no clue. They just eat up 
anything we give them, let's keep doing it. That's why I speak out. Even if my individual voice isn't going to reach Mr. Karakawa, it's never going to be. At the very least, I'd like to make you think in a different way. The criticisms is not hate. People like this immediately think that you're hating on Blue Lock. If you voice your opinion and say that this animations are garbage, nothing is moving, I want something better, do you think a person that hates Blue Lock is saying that? No, that person's not even watching it. Those people are actually just watching this video and just laughing at this thing. Criticisms are not always blatant hate. They come from a place of passion, but misled ignorant children will take that criticism and see it as hate, then make comments like this. Why can't people just appreciate the hype instead? Why can't you think better for yourself? Why can't you realize that you deserve a better experience? But here's the thing, you're a stupid child that's been cucked so hard that you don't even recognize the bullshit that's being fed to you. And then you go on to say that people are just blindly hating. You go on to say that this is just fine, that the still frames are the best part of Blue Lock. The more that this kind of ideology gets perpetuated, the more bullshit enemies like this we're going to see. It's just glorified CGI and manga panels zooming in and out. In this current era of anime, bro, do you know how much garbage slop there is in this fucking chart? There's going to be some hidden gems. But this is the result of capitalism and corporate greed. Long time ago, animes, bro, back in the day, there's so much love and quality poured into it. Even the 2004 version of Index, Toadu no Index we're watching right now. That's way better animated than this shit. Because this shit's not even animated. They're connecting the manga panels. And the worst part is it looks good. The art looks good, and then they drag the art around to make it look like it's moving around. And the more people have this mindset, the more people that won't speak out, the more that you'll never demand better, and the more that you become cucked it, man. Why do people have to think like this? It's just so sad, but it's not like this person is evil. No, it's just a misled stupid kid that has no idea how life works and is defending his favorite show against a bunch of haters because any criticism is a bunch of haters. Now, let's wrap up the video by checking out the actual manga versus anime differences. I want to see this shit. Hi, welcome to Kobani Car's channel and this Yo. is a comparison of- <laughs> This channel's called Kobani Cars? <laughs> Listen, I've read the Chainsaw Manga a bit. Kobani car is a literal meme. People love Kobani's car more than Kobani herself. Kobani's car was ranked higher than Kobani on popularity character tier list, bro. Of anime versus manga Blue Lock season 2 episode 2. Alright. It wasn't until episode 2 that I saw a lot of CGI in every cut. There was a lot of CGI, especially the running animations when the legs start moving and you only see oh, like the bottom half of this torso not even the bottom half of the torso you literally just chop it at like the knee level so zesty bro rin's face is very similar to a mixture of mikasa and eren jaeger mikasa and eren jaeger i see that no, I can totally see that. Jaeger. They look good. Again, in, in individual frames, right? Individual frames. Look, I, I think that this looks way better. This is like the impact shit that manga just really highlights more. Because over here, yeah, there's some like, you know, force happening here. The ball is tipping off the foot. But look at this. Look at all the different lines. Dude, the manga is way better here. Also, it's funny that the sound effect for this is called douche. You see this shit? <laughs> Chigiri, the, the, in an anime full of fanboys and a bunch of like zesty dudes, he, Chigiri then gets like isolated to be called a princess. I want you to think of that. And then they go on to have douche as the sound effect. The memes just write themselves. Yeah, the manga is way better. <laughs> it's it's the impact. It's it's these like impact lines. I'm not sure if I'm calling these correctly, but it's these like different like shading and the lines that make it look like everything is really moving. 
The anime version's visual effects are really crazy. The visuals are cool too, but the manga, I think it's really good. The visuals, the colors definitely pop more though. I really like the coloring they added like this. The scene where Shi Dao scores a goal is different from the one in the trailer. Hmm. Is it? Kind of. Because here, he's already kicked it, but here, he's just like making the contact with the ball, I guess. Yeah. It's cool too when you have like these instant frames happening. Well, I'm sure in the anime, they didn't show Isagi's reactions to it. Scores a goal is different from the one in the trailer. Yo, Mama's Boy didn't do shit here. Mama's Boy, fucking do something. You're just staring. In the manga too, bro. Mama's Boy literally just looking. Bro, do something. You're right beside him. Grandma's boy, sorry. Grandmama's boy. This is weird, because I think that Ryusei was like actually like nutting. He was getting horny off the high. <laughs> I love how Karas' entire thing is using his hands. Like, no one in this show has thought about using their hands to like position themselves yeah he's like the it's like a fucking computer that like analyzes but like his entire thing was like whoa his hand movement the way he makes contact with other people and like you know traverses through it's like bro it's, you guys got hands too this is a flipped one yeah his hand <laughs> oh you fucking you have hands too bro yisagi's face in the manga is much more expressive they are the bigger eye, left versus right. And again, the, and you see the impact lines here, but the face here looks way more desperate than the one on the left. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, they ruined this one. Oh man, Mr. Ninja got... Mr. Ninja... Bro, look at Mr. Ninja's movement. In the manga. <laughs> he just fucking flo floating with fucking far aura, bro. With... CGI Rin, I think. And his face too, compared, look at this, but look at the fucking jaw. I look at the crimson chin over here, man. Ninja. Yeah, I I, I really do I, I I truly oh my god. The manga's way better. The ma manga the manga actually looks like it has more animation. It does. The way that the manga is drawn, these individual still frames makes it look like it's like actually kind of moving while the anime is just colored in. The- I don't, I don't know how I feel about this fart aura. I don't know about this green stanky ass swamp aura, man. But this- look at this. This like black lightning aura just like emanating from their bodies. That looks sick. Look at that shit, right? I- I- I like the black simple lighting way more actually. I like the effect of the colors on each character like this. The blue and the green isn't bad, but the black is just so good. Damn! They did a fucking, uh, what's the word? Is it like negative filter? I, I forget. It's when it's just like black and white gets inversed. Like, look at this. And then what's going on the left side, man? <laughs> yeah, look at this shit. You can't even tell. You can't even tell what the fuck the ball is doing. You know what I mean? In the manga, there's so much like... You can see the path of the ball. You can see the path and the movement of the ball shown by these lines. But here, can you guess what the fuck happened? No, you just see a random ball here. What the fuck? And there was that one scene, remember, when the goal was a header? But we didn't even know it was a header until we start to analyze how is his foot position? How the fuck did the ball get in the net? This frame looks good. Why is he just the most breedable fucking character in this show? Even as don't you want these legs? Oh, what do you, what do you mean? I know you fast as fuck, boy, but you gonna say shit like, don't you want my legs? Oh. How so? In what way? <laughs> the speed, I like it.
Yeah, this is the header, right? This is what I'm talking about. Like, bro, I had no fucking clue. At least here, you can see his head kind of bobbling. You can see the traces of his hair with the ball making connection. I had no clue what the fuck happened here for a second. I'm like, how did he score? Well, his legs are backward. There's no way he kicked. The anime version is successful in creating character details, coloring, mm. and visual effects. But in terms of animation, it suffers greatly. There is no animation. Again, they're literally just tracing the manga panels and then moving it around, dragging it. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Mr. Kobani Cars. Hey, that was a nice video for Mr. Kobani Cars. Please go check out their channel. That was pretty funny. But again, at the end of the day, the focus is this, right? I just, if only these people could just see life in a different lens rather than being confined in their little box where they think that any type of criticism is immediate hate think about why they're saying this think about the passion they have for blue lock think about why you instinctively protect a company for a mediocre adaptation and make bullshit excuses like the still frames are the best part think about do you deserve better if you don't think you deserve better, maybe you're just a loser and you're fine with it. But I'd like to hope that like people can see when love and passion has been poured into an anime. And it's so apparent to me. And it's just a mindset thing.